Martin, a fantastic three points at the Stadium of Light last Saturday afternoon, but not without its casualties. Can you tell us about Martin and Kieran, who both came off the pitch? Martin was fully out. We tried everything and he tried everything, but he fell on it and then, uh, he, you know, he couldn't start tomorrow. So he, will, he won't be in the squad and Kieran will be out for the next three or four weeks because he was uh, in Germany with Dr. Miller Wolfart and uh, he had a few injections and uh, hopefully that will help him. And uh, But it's a hamstring. It's injury. a hamstring tear and he will be out for, for three or four weeks. Obviously, with that, you've got Matthew Briggs, potentially, John Onorisa, who you could use as cover for, for that yeah. position tomorrow. I felt that uh, Matthew did very well to come on without games. You know, He mm. didn't play in the pre-season because I made a choice between John and uh, Kieran all the time. And then I started in the, over the last two matches uh, against Big T's and Parma. I started uh, Kieran Richardson. So uh, Briggs did ever so well to come on and play. and and do what he did. Uh, but tomorrow I've got two choices. Brixie will be in the squad and uh, John will be in the squad. So John's, of course, got more experience. Uh, Briggs uh, played against Walcott uh, as well uh, at the start of his career, but uh, John played against him. So we have to make a decision. A new addition to the squad as well in Scott Parker. Tell us what you think about him. I know you're you're a big fan of the way he plays the game. I'm a big fan of all uh, fantastic midfield players, and I think he's a fantastic midfield player. He can keep the ball. He's not scared. You know, you can't put him under pressure. He turns right, left. He's a bit like Modric, uh, a bit more defensive, but he's he's a leader. He's English, uh, and I think we needed that. You know, sometimes you saw uh, even in preseason and last year as well when uh, Danny was not there and Diara was not there. Uh, we couldn't play out from the back and then you get this long ball game and of course sometimes you play against teams and they will force you, they will pin you and lock you in, in your own half but I don't want that, I want to make the decision and with uh, Scott you can play, you, 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 you can play it out of the back of course you can make a decision if you play against Liverpool, Man United to play a longer ball and then with a goal kick and then win the second ball but I would like to play out from the back and then we've got quite good forward players, you know, Berbatov, Weinroos, Kasami now, Damien Duff, Ashkan, uh, Adeltrop, Kakani Klitsch, so they want to play, so they need the ball to their feet and that is why I want to play good football. Darren Bent was on the bench on Saturday at the Stadium of Light, obviously didn't get on because of the injury situation. Is that, you've had a full week's training now with him and Scott Parker in the squad, is that going to change your thought processes for the lineup? On the thing with tomorrow? him is, of course, he didn't play a lot of matches mm. and I wanted him in the squad because someone told me uh, and he confirmed that he always scored mm. against Sunderland, so I thought maybe he's needed. He wasn't, of course, needed in hindsight, but you never knew and I didn't know before. So I took him on the bench, uh, he didn't come on, but he will be on the bench tomorrow or start after make the decision. I will never tell my team uh, a day before. Uh, of course, we got him on the board to play uh, for his football and to score goals, but uh, sometimes you need three midfield players. Sometimes he can even start from the right and Dimitar can play up front. Sometimes I need a number nine, a quick one, and, and Dimitar can play uh, um, and drop in midfield more. So I, I've got several options now, and I didn't have that before, you know. I had Bayer Ruiz. Uh, Rode Jäger, uh, who, who try to come to, uh, towards the midfield and I need players who can stretch and play off the shoulder and uh, that is exactly what Darren Ben does, you know, and of course I know him from Spurs, but I had uh, Jermaine Defoe, Robbie Keane, Berbatov, Kanute, so he struggled a bit to get his games, but he still scored his goals at Spurs, he always scores goals. And that is his reference and that is what I uh, saw and what I know, so hopefully he can score him between 10 and 15 goals or even more. And then with Berbatov, we, we've got more goals into the team now. And that that is what we need to to stay in the league and to play a good role in the league and maybe to do even more. Arsenal, you know all about them. Everybody does, even with injuries. Arsenal have an amazing squad. They had a fantastic result against Fenerbahce in Turkey at the in midweek. It's an early kickoff. It's a London derby. What are you expecting? How do you see tomorrow go? I expect, uh, of course, after Aston Villa, I thought that this might suit us. But then I saw them against Fenerbahce. They picked themselves up. They had an unbelievable result because in Turkey to have a, a win three 0 against Fenerbahce, which is a very strong team. You know, they spent loads of money on the on their players and, and they've got a good team and they took the initiative, they controlled the game, so uh, that was good for them, you know, to play that game, to have a 3 0 win, so they might feel a bit more confident than they did after the game against Aston Villa, but we have to try to uh, 
to do something when we've got the ball. We try to take the initiative. That is what our were always like. And of course, we had good results against them because remember the last game against uh, Arsenal. We had a sending off. We had to play mm. with ten men, and that was. Uh, and we could have scored with Obi and Manuel. So maybe you remember. So uh, we always had good results against Arsenal. So hopefully, uh, we get the result tomorrow. Maximum result tomorrow. And the home opener, there's always a lot of expectation around, but I believe you are very positive about your squad now. You're positive about what, what can be achieved. It would be great to start the home run off with a, a victory against Arsenal. I mean, uh, I think and I hope that our supporters are over the moon, you know, because I was very happy. Everybody at this club, even here at Monster Park, we were so happy, you know, to have all these quality players in. And if you would have told me four or five weeks ago to have Darren Bent on the board, to have Scott Parker, Adel Terrapt, it's almost, you know, it's, I wouldn't say fantasy, but it's, it's, it's great to have them here. And now we have to gel them together and uh, work on the balance. But uh, the quality is certainly here. And I think that is something for us and for the fans to be, you know, to be uh, a good team and, 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 and love my team to, to see them to play football and come to Craven Cottage. And of course, if the sun shines even better, but even when it rains and we win, you know, for me, uh, against Arsenal, uh, will be terrific. We wish you luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you.